Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me again today. Uh, I want to share with you a short message that uh, I actually preached at uh, my last service of the year in our church. Uh, it's my little Christmas message for the church, but I thought maybe uh, I should post it as, as something that can really, I hope, encourage a number of other people beyond the membership of our church. Um, so, yeah, it's a Christmas message, uh, and uh, I want to talk to you about memorable Christmases. Memorable Christmases. Obviously, at Christmas time, um, we remember, particularly within the Christian faith, we remember the birth of Jesus. And uh, a lot of what Christmas is all about is about Jesus coming into the world. Um, obviously, Mary and Joseph and all the shepherds, the wise men and so on and so forth. So uh, Christmas, particularly, as I say, from a Christian perspective, is very much uh, a memorable event anyway. We're remembering that first ever Christmas uh, when Jesus came to be our Lord and Saviour, born as a baby but grew up to be our Saviour. So that's the first memorable Christmas I want to I want to kind of bring bring to your attention. Uh, another memorable Christmas for me, from my perspective, was when I first became a Christian. That that first year when I became a Christian, uh, I think I was around about 28, no, 29 years old, something like 28, 29 years old. Uh, so I'd, I'd been, yeah, I'd, I'd had a lot of Christmases at that stage and like everybody else, I, I enjoyed Christmas. Uh, I used to go out and celebrate with everybody else, you know, and do, do, do the usual kind of things, you know, have probably a little bit too much to eat and a little bit too much to drink. Um, but that particular year when I first became a Christian, Christmas took on a whole new meaning for me. Um, I, I realised that it wasn't just about you know, exchanging gifts and having fun, it was actually about Jesus coming into the world uh, and born to be our saviour and it just really had a, a positive impact upon me. I, I remembered for me, I remember Christmas for all the right reasons. Uh, I remember Jesus and, and, and it was just very significant for me that first, that first Christmas. Uh, another memorable Christmas for me was uh, a year when my brother, my brother's dead now, but when he was alive, uh, he served as a missionary. He went to Haiti for a couple of years and, and he was doing reforestation work out there. Uh, and it was actually the first Christmas, I think, that he was ever away from the rest of the family. Uh, I haven't got a big family, but our tradition would be my uncle and aunt would come uh, to my mother's house and it'd be my, my uncle and my aunt, my mum, my gran, my brother and myself. This is before either of us were married. Uh, but this particularly, I think my uncle and aunt had been invited somewhere else, so they didn't join us. Uh, and my brother was actually in Haiti. So uh, obviously there was just the three of us. It was my gran, my mum and myself. Uh, and I remember I bought my mother um, a Queen album. You know the band The Queen? Um, one of their greatest hits albums. I think they had a couple of greatest hits albums. Probably had a load more than that actually. Um, but growing up in the UK, I mean Queen was a very popular band and, and we knew the, all the words to the song. Uh, the songs and stuff and uh, yeah we, we probably had a little bit too much to drink my mother and myself and we started singing all these Queen songs and, and my gran was just yeah just rolling around in laughter really um, it was just so much fun you know just singing all these songs to my gran and it was actually I, I, I'm not sure if it was my the last Christmas we had our gran with us before she passed away but uh, probably not that many Christmases after that. So it was a really special Christmas for me for all the right reasons, you know. We had a lot of fun. I was missing my brother and my uncle and my auntie, obviously. Um, but we had so much fun singing these Queen songs. Uh, another Christmas uh, that was significant for me um, was a Christmas that was memorable for all the wrong reasons. I've spoken about a couple of Christmases that are memorable for all the right reasons. But this one was memorable for all the wrong reasons. I actually, um, it was the first time I'd ever suffered with sciatica. Uh, my sciatic nerve was playing up. And it's something that happened a little bit before Christmas. I was at one of our men's camps. And uh, I remember the last Sunday of, of, of the camp, uh, my sciatic nerve started playing up. And hey, mate, I was in so much pain. I think the first time you, it's like the first time you put your back out, it's just the worst, you know. Um, I, I managed, yeah, I managed Christmas. Uh, and there was just the three of us. It was during the COVID, so it was just Louise, Abigail, and myself here in South Africa. And um, yeah, I still managed to bry and cook food for everybody. Um, but by Boxing Day, I was going to see an emergency doctor to have, have uh, painkilling uh, injections because I was in so much pain. So uh, a memorable Christmas, but for all the wrong reasons. And I want to talk about memorable Christmases for the wrong reasons, so to speak, because I think. You know, Christmas, 
we all want to enjoy Christmas. We all want to have a lot of fun at Christmas, but not everyone gets to enjoy Christmas in the same way. Some people have lost loved ones. Um, yeah, things have happened in the year. Maybe a loved one is, has died around about Christmas time in years gone past, and it's a, a painful experience to, to have Christmas and remember the loss of a loved one, you know? Uh, and I think sometimes we, we can get so caught up in having fun at Christmas, and, and it's good to have fun at Christmas, don't get me wrong, but um, we can lose sight of those that aren't having such a great Christmas. So I want us to enjoy Christmas. I think it's really important, but I want us to be mindful of those that uh, maybe are struggling over Christmas. Uh, maybe we can come alongside them and just be a voice of encouragement uh, and love on them uh, and just encourage them over the Christmas season. So anyway, I want to wrap my message up um, and I want to lay some challenges for you. I challenge you to make this a memorable Christmas. Make this a memorable Christmas for all the right reasons. Whether you are, are celebrating with family, friends, whether you're in the church or not in a relationship with Jesus or not, uh, I really want to encourage you to make this a memorable Christmas. Think about what you can do to make it memorable for those around you. Um, yeah, doing things for your family, doing things for your friend, talking to someone that maybe you've not spoken to for a long time uh, and they'd really love to hear you, hear from you, maybe a, a voice call or a video call if they're not in the same country or whatever. Um, but I want to encourage you to think of ways of making it a memorable Christmas for those around you, those that you know, those that you love. How can you make this Christmas a, a memorable Christmas for them? Take the opportunity to enjoy your loved ones. Take the opportunity to have loads of fun and, and take the opportunity to make Christmas 2022 uh, the best ever, um, the, the memorable for all the right reasons. But my challenge doesn't end there. Christmas is obviously about Jesus. It's, it's a, um, the good news about Jesus coming into the world. So it's an opportunity to share Jesus uh, with your loved ones. If you're in a relationship with God uh, through Jesus, then uh, it's an opportunity for you to talk to your family and your friends about what Christmas is really all about. And, you know, sharing your story of how you became a Christian, what it means to you to be a Christian, all that kind of stuff. Um, just hearing your story might be the last thing they need to hear um, for them to enter into their own relationship with Jesus. Yeah, the penny drops when we hear each other's stories uh, and we, we realise what impact Jesus makes to our lives. So, um, yeah, wouldn't it be amazing if you talked to someone about Jesus and then they gave their life to him? Eh? Um, talk about a memorable Christmas, memorable for all the right reasons. So I want to encourage you. Uh, do everything you can to make this Christmas memorable for all the right reasons and take every opportunity you can to share Jesus with those around you. Uh, there's a wonderful song that we finished our service off with called Go Tell It on the Mountains. And I want to encourage you to go and tell the story of Jesus, tell the st story of Jesus in your life. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Guys, a little bit of a longer message today, but uh, uh, I really wanted to encourage you with this as we kind of finish off this year and, and have a wonderful Christmas together uh, all over the world. Um, so thanks for tuning in. And I do wish you all a very wonderful Christmas. You and your family, may you know the blessing of God uh, and just have so much fun and so much enjoyment over this Christmas time. And I look forward to speaking to you again in the not so distant future. Bless you guys.